So I'd like to welcome the Dean School of Dentistry, Dr. Colin Tibosia, to give the welcome remarks. I want us first of all to clap for our Kenya Defense Forces for a, go for a job well done. Let us clap for our soldiers. Let us just do this and um, actually I think we should stand for them. Let's give them a standing ovation. We are very proud because they took down the, the town of Kismayu. So those Al-Shabaab fellows are, not, are now cut off. Thank you very much. It is my honor and pleasure to declare this dental clinic officially launched and opened. But because of the need for patients, the <laughs> uh, express my own very, very sincere, deep appreciation to our defense forces for a, a, a job well done in taking Kismayu, and they did it in a very professional way. Um, many of us thought it was going to take much longer, but this, these guys were really doing their work at best. Uh, and I think all Kenyans uh, really must appreciate this great work done by our defense forces. I would like to comment on the current strike of doctors. And uh, I know because when I was a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Medical Services, it was very clear to us that Kenya has a very serious shortage of doctors. And even the few we have, a lot of them are leaving the country. We have a problem of uh, brain drain. And I don't really understand why the minister is now sucking doctors. And we were together struggling to ask for money to hire more doctors. I don't think any time there's a problem, uh, the way to solve it is to issue ultimatums or take desperate measures. Because I, I, I think that firing doctors is a desperate measure. And we must, as leaders, show the way by engaging in very meaningful negotiation, discussions, and then finding solutions together. So the Minister for Medical Services, Professor Nyang Nyongo, I want to ask you, 
uh, you are my minister and you remember we were together struggling to streamline the ministry, please don't now undo all the good work we, we were doing for the last five years. Call the doctors to the table and conclude this matter in an amicable way. Because we need those young people, we don't need them out of Kenya, we need them in Kenya. I am very concerned about the direction the politics of Kenya is taking. Now everybody seems to be running away from uh, one party and running to a party of their home candidate. That's not what we wanted in the new constitution. The new constitution was, was trying to bring Kenya together. We were trying to be a nation, to be one country. But if now everybody is going to vote exactly along the tribal lines, when are we going to start building a united Kenya? A Kenya of the 42 tribes. And the solution to this is not in the current leaders. I have always said that the current leaders are not capable. They are totally incapable of bringing a united nation. They have failed us. So it is up to the Kenyan people, one, to remove them from office in the next election. Two, to encourage fresh new people to come on board. 